Welcome to North Idaho, where the sun can be shining and it can be snowing all at the same time. This week we are continuing on with our tiling project. We are going to be tackling something we have never done before, but we only have two days because it is also Eli's birthday. He is turning eight this week and we have some very big plans. Last week, Melissa and I got all of our hexagonal, matte black, very uniform tile set down over the floor of the shower pan. We were happy with how that turned out. This week, we are turning our focus and attention to the shower walls, however, and for that, we're using what kind of tile model? We are using a six inch rustic barnwood tile. So it looks like wood, but it's actually tile. I've always wanted to do a barnwood shower. I know a lot of people like a really bright shower. It feels all refreshing. I like the opposite of that. I want it to be steamy and dark like a hug. So I wanted a really woodsy feeling and a lot of like really nice natural colors. So I'm kind of excited about this. A steamy dark hug. <laughs> yeah. I like it. All right, so I mentioned this when we started the shower project, but I feel like it bears repeating. So far, things have been going, meh, okay. The shower pan turned out nice. We have never, neither one of us, have ever laid any kind of tile or set tile on a vertical surface. So working on these shower walls is a bit intimidating, if I'm being completely honest. We went ahead and got everything laid out on the floor. You can see here, just because I want some very accurate measurements, we're trying to figure out what our starting point's gonna be. It turns out that we're gonna have a partial piece that will stick at the very bottom of the shower up against the shower pan since we're actually working from the second row up to begin with. So I think we are ready to go. You good? I'm ready. Let's do this. I went ahead and got this board screwed into the bottom of this back wall since that's where we are starting with our tile. Uh, we're working the back wall first and we'll get to the side walls because I want that overlap from the side walls to just make for cleaner corners. So with this board, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first course, our first row of tile, we'll actually set it on the top of that board. This board is gonna support not only that row, but everything up above it. Once everything is cured, we will remove this. We'll get our bottom section plugged in, then move on to the side walls. Our cardboard is down. I think we're ready to go. Let's go mix up some things in. Put you on spacer duty. Spacer and wedge duty is all you. We're gonna get all the way to the top in like an hour now. Wedgies, any of the wedgies. You want a wedgie? Whatever. Don't get me lined up, we'll mush together. One, two, mush. Mush together. Over here? Yeah. Oh, two more spacers. <laughs> Thank you, once again. We clean that one up, we'll wedge it off, and then even though one or two rolls up, I wanna make sure everything's level before we Overcommit. Okay. You have to fix something. I hate overcommitment. I'm making such a mess with this thing, so I'm so sorry. You are. All right, so we are a couple rows in, and there's a lot of uh, just learning and figuring things out as we go that has occurred. <laughs> Everything's straight, so that's good. Learning has occurred. Learning has definitely occurred. Our thin set is definitely a little watery, so I'm making a total mess with it. Melissa's going around and cleaning up all of that mess for me. I think these spacers and wedges that we're using are a great investment if you're thinking about doing this yourself. Just because it seems to kind of compress everything to the wall and hold it there and make sure that everything's on the same plane. Also, to begin with, I wasn't back buttering any of these pieces. Just because I wasn't sure whether or not I needed to, I probably should have just to be safe, especially since it's at the bottom. But from here on, I think we're definitely going to continue with that trend. It just mm -hmm. it creates better adhesion. So let's keep rolling. How far do you think we're going to get today? We're gonna get as far <laughs> as we get. I was thinking we were gonna get this whole thing done before Eli's birthday, and now I am doubtful. You're so optimistic. I was. 
My optimism is waning. Yeah, uh, let's just keep going until we run out of time. already almost quitting time for the day and we have only gotten five rows done on the back wall. I do realize that a pro probably could have tiled this entire shower in the time that it took us to do these five rows. We do what we can and like this entire build is gone, it's, it goes slow at times. It's not about going quick and winning the race, it's about just getting it done and doing the best job that you possibly can, which is what's happening and it looks good. It's coming together great. Whoa, back butter, wham, wham. Whoa, back butter, wham, wham. Oh. I was dancing. Oh, you left me. I said it goes as one, bring my lamb down to Japan. I don't know. Whatever. It rhymed, so I went with it. I'm sorry. I don't think that Japan was in the song. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Denzo. Denzo. Nice job, huh? Good first day. Way to be with those clips. Yeah, it was good. And look, they're all still on the wall for now. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> fell off. Hello, mommy. Wow, you're working faster without me than when we were working together. I'm figuring some things out, so yeah, it's going much quicker. And my fin says cooperating much more today than they did yesterday. That's a water. Bigger. It looks really, really good. Thanks. So I got all of our suitcases packed. We're ready to go tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Jeremy continued working at the wall while I was homeschooling and while I was getting us all packed up for Eli's birthday we are very excited to take off tomorrow we did want to get the shower done but it's okay that we only got the back wall done there's always time so now that it's up there and we can see it in a big field it is so nice i actually didn't realize when i ordered it that it was more gray than brown i thought that i had ordered more of a brown barn wood but it's very gray and weathered, kind of like old fence boards, and I love it. I didn't want any gray in the house because I just like those warm tones, but the contrast that it's offering turned out really beautiful, so I'm actually really glad that it's a lot more gray than we thought. This is round. I think this is beautiful. Yeah, it's really crazy. I can't help you anymore. In life? Or with the shower? Just the shower. Oh, okay. I can still help you in life. Alright, that's good. I got worried for a second. I mean, you're old, I'll make you soup. Okay, right now I need you out of the way so I can scoot the ladder over there. Oh. Unless you feel like being pinned in. Thanks, Mama. Once again, love you. While Jeremy continues working his way up the wall with the tile, I'm getting things packed up for our trip, so I'm grabbing some of our Athletic Greens packets. I have to have Athletic Greens every single day. I started taking it about a year ago because I was looking for an alternative to coffee. I was drinking way too much of it, and when I was trying different vitamins, they were making my stomach hurt. I discovered that Athletic Greens do not do that, and I absolutely love the way it tastes. The best part about Athletic Greens is it is a daily ritual that you can actually stick to because it is so simple. It is eight ounces of water, one scoop or a single travel pack, and stir. Athletic Greens is the perfect all-in-one greens powder packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source superfoods and probiotics in one simple daily serving. I love that Athletic Greens also supports your gut health and a healthy digestion because not only does that make you feel better, but it supports your immune system, your focus, your energy level, even your recovery. To start the new year off right, click the link down in our description box below and you will get a year supply of the vitamin D3K2 plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. This is seriously a game changer for your immune system. AG1 provides your body with everything that it needs for optimal performance every single day. So remember, Athletic Greens is going to give our community an immune-supporting free one-year supply of vitamin D plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. So we've made it all the way to the very top row and because all of these top 
pieces are going to be butted to the ceiling. I'm going through the space to just see whether or not we have any humps, which we actually do. And it's not that anything was done wrong. We're very precise with our drywall. It's just with the texturing of the mud on top of that drywall. There's just little humps that we're going to have to overcome. So we'll do this in short sections. We'll work our thin set to the end of each little piece that we stick on there. And then we'll just whittle away at it, try to get this as tight as we possibly can. So we're not having a half inch bead of caulk in between the ceiling and this top row. One more piece, one more piece for now. Yeah, I was gonna be still on this side. For the back wall. <laughs> but for the back wall, one more piece. No, you know what though, like everything else, I learned a lot. Just coming up this wall. So now I'm confident with these two side walls, we'll have some tricky cuts around the valves and stuff, but I'm feeling good about it. The wall looks like one of those walls where you drop the little ball down and then you go bing, 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 bing. Plinko, you... like the Price yeah. is Right? Yeah. What was the best game on the Price is Right? I don't know. The Yodler guy, you remember that game? No, I didn't watch it. Yodler! That was a great game. You were never sick from school to where you got to watch the Price is Right? I watched uh, Nickelodeon Afternoon when I was oh, sick. That was good. Because David the Gnome was on. David the Gnome, not a fan. Hey, we're done. We just got to clean up, Mom. All right, and then we need to load the car. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. Everyone have everything? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> six o'clock in the morning. Our family doesn't do six a.m. We are making a seven or eight hour trip to Seattle because to celebrate Eli's birthday, we are going to go see my grandmother who is 99 years old this year and we haven't seen her for a very long time. And also Eli loves museums so there are some pretty amazing museums in Seattle he likes dinosaurs and fossils and right now airplanes so it's going to be a very exciting but very busy next couple of days <laughs> and how old are you now uh, eight tomorrow eight tomorrow mm -hmm. his birthday tomorrow <laughs> oh goodness you know you're eight and I'm 98 isn't that old <laughs> 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 Just imagine I was 90 when you were born. <laughs> I remember when your mommy was 16. Do you want me to tell you some stories? No, <laughs> I would love to hear stories. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. We spent the entire afternoon reminiscing about the past, catching up on the present, and sharing in one of my grandmother's favorite pastimes, her love of piano. This is where I was born and raised. This is a town where the weather didn't really bother me when I lived here because I just didn't know any better. But Jeremy was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. So <laughs> the weather. I hate it. It's um, now that I've been away from it. Yeah, it's definitely crazy. But this is just what it was like. So our kids are getting a little taste of Seattle weather. I don't even really recognize Seattle anymore. It looks so different from when I lived here. But we have made the trek back to my home so that we could have some much overdue family time and also go explore some of Eli's most loved things, which are dinosaurs, fossils, and airplanes. Eight years, that would be a painful death. 
in the sky <laughs> Baby, I'll be What's your favorite kind of airplane? What is it? The F-18 What's your favorite kind? Alright, you want to sit in the cockpit? You're going to be his backseater, Dad? Yeah. I don't think you're allowed to. I don't like that face, man. It's the only way I got. Here. Eli and Kaimani are going to go on a flight simulator which simulates flying in an F-15. So it doesn't look too crazy from the outside, but they did warn us that it gets pretty nuts inside, so we're gonna see how they do. Goose and Maverick. No, no goose. It'd be Maverick and um, Rooster. That's Maverick and Rooster. Ma <laughs> Maverick and Rooster. Funny life? Yeah. Did you get scared? Uh, no, I was trying so hard not to. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to walk through a Concord. It's small. Yeah, that's crazy. Doesn't help me how these. Yeah, I didn't realize how tiny it was. It's such a massive plane. Right now, we are inside of Air Force One. It was Nixon and Kennedy, Johnson, and Eisenhower all flew on this airplane. So it's really cool to see the bunk beds and the bathroom and the fancy seats and everything. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? That's perfect. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> My family cannot handle <laughs> first virtual reality experience. <laughs> <laughs> It literally has not stopped pouring <laughs> since we basically got over the pass and started heading towards Seattle. So it has been raining now for about two days. It's amazing. We had such a great birthday. Eli had the best time at the Flight Museum. If anyone is going to Seattle, I highly recommend going there. It was so cool. I had no idea that was there. We just had a great dinner and now we have one last thing to do for Eli's birthday and that is go find a cake. 5 When we tell our children that we love them, I don't think they can even begin to comprehend what that means. Before we hold a child in our arms, our child, we can't even begin to imagine the magnitude of fear and wonder and hope that comes with loving another human being more than you've ever loved anyone or anything before. And as we watch our babies grow into their own people, we feel both pride and a little bit of pain, because we know that the day is going to come far too soon when suddenly they don't reach out for our hand like they have a thousand times before. All right, should we go get him? Yeah, let's see what he says. All right, man. Go. Oh, it's <laughs> I thought it was a tire swing. <laughs> you want to try it out? Yeah. There you go. 
But for today, Eli, you are eight. You still reach out for my hand and you still run to me when you're hurting. And even though you may never truly understand the depth of my love for you, I hope that you always know that no matter how big you grow or where you go or who you might become, I will always, always love you. And I'll always be here for you, just as I am today. Being your mama has truly been the greatest thing that I could have ever done in this life.